Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my uh, this time my presentation is relating to the also uh, the ancient Chinese record. But uh, so far I have uh, introduced some records about uh, meteorite or comets. But this time uh, I uh, come up to the uh, the aurora record. But this record is not aurora itself. But also, uh, I mentioned the possibility of the record of comets. Okay. So uh, when these aurora records uh, have the uh, description of the key one, uh, like this trying to uh, show up, sorry, showing like this. So uh, this uh, key one is just relating to the appearance of the aurora. So the first key one is the sky cracks. So in this case, uh, if observer standing in the uh, position, uh, just the under of the aurora curtain, so uh, he or she looks up, then the uh, edge on uh, point uh, from the uh, just the bottom of the uh, aurora curtain, the uh, heaven is looks like. Uh, Cracked and separated. So, uh, this uh, appearance, they express the sky cracks. And also, uh, this observed aurora is mainly colored red. So, uh, just people, uh, just after this, why they have the mainly, uh, look the, the color red? Well, uh, some kids, they mentioned the white vapor. But it's also, uh, I have some explanation about that. And a very rare, rare case, they express five color rainbow. But this case, uh, if you see the, uh, in the night sky, if you see the rainbows, can you feel the color? Maybe not. Probably just a uh, plain white or sudden, uh, on color, looks like a uh, white paper. And uh, on the other hand, so I explain why they uh, observe the red color. So maybe as you know, uh, in this very simplified uh, uh, aurora structure, uh, the color of aurora is just relating of the appearance of the height. Okay. <laughs> so if the, uh, you mentioned a uh, uh, very high latitude, altitude, say uh, 150 kilometers up, then it's red. But uh, on the other hand, the underside yeah. is aurora. The color is I mentioned I color uh, in green, but this case is very strong active aurora. Mostly very faint color in green or in case looks like a white. Okay, so like this, the aurora structure has the color difference, but this figure is just you see stand on the very high latitude and on the out like a uh, uh, 70 degree or uh, 60 degree. Uh, in China, look at it, more lower latitude, like a 40 degree in Peking. And uh, later I showed some uh, observing point is 30 degree in the latitude. So in this case, in China, these uh, they observed a lot of just only the upper color. So green color or white color, lower one is just under the horizon. They can only observe the red colored aurora. Okay. So on the other hand, the uh, comet green one just mentioned the uh, uh, keywords like uh, blue or dense blue. So uh, that tail uh, looks like these kind of people here. 
uh, appearance. And scientists, they express the comet, a uh, long star. Yeah, have the very long coma. And uh, uh, this coma is colored mostly white paper, white. And in case they uh, express a uh, reddish white. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah. So oh, in case uh, white including red. This uh, color difference sometimes comes from the uh, observer feeling. So everybody has, everybody has their own characteristic feeling against the color. And uh, uh, I, uh, I did wrote this uh, in slide. Uh, I have to mention that if the aurora uh, had the uh, appearance, uh, we have to uh, focus on the timing of the aurora. In China, aurora observed in the midnight, very, very rare case, the early night. Okay. So first, uh, I took up, the, uh, I take up the uh, record example. This example is appeared 1650, February 26. So in the night, in the western, uh, west of uh, Wanjiang, Blue vapor under over the sky. This only two uh, lines expression. Okay, in the night, in the west of Wanjiang, uh, this Wanjiang is the uh, uh, location one uh, region in China. Uh, nowadays, Qin uh, Shi Gao. Okay, so the color is blue. This record expressed blue, but probably the color is. Uh, much pale, uh, very close to white blue, because in the night you can see the blue color. Probably no. Okay. So on the other hand, at the same time, it uh, they had uh, uh, some comet record in the night in the west of Punsha, uh, where a uh, white vapor like sticky cloth appeared during the ten and a few days. So this observation expressed the coma of uh, the coma color as a white, okay? Blue vapor, but probably pale blue, a very painful, uh, faint blue. So uh, on the other hand, this uh, comet has a white. White is very, uh, probably a strong color or bright one, I guess. So the same timing observation. And uh, this aurora record is just only one. On the other hand, the comment record is two records. Okay, so <clears throat> we can guess this aurora record is not aurora, but comet. The second example, 1830. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, this aurora record uh, didn't have the date, just only the year. Well, uh, when red vapor gradually appeared from the north to the south, including dozen stripes of the white vapor. Okay, so uh, red, uh, yeah, red color, but including dozen stripes of white vapor. Stripes of white paper. So we can imagine the dust tail have some stripe. Okay. On the other hand, uh, the same year, uh, 1830, uh, from, oh, uh, uh, from July to uh, August, uh, that's a comet appeared. And uh, a comet appeared in the West, quite hairs expanded a few down low. So uh, the first record just expressed a uh, comet appear, but the second one expressed white hairs expanded a few down low. White hair means dust tail. And the dun means uh, uh, the unit of the length. So when you uh, expand your arm, uh, 
if the finger death, uh, finger win, that means uh, two degrees. Okay, so uh, so one, uh, two degrees. Yeah, expand your arms. Uh, one channel is about twenty degrees. So like this, uh, this expression is uh, the uh, Thomas expression. Also, we have another comet record in this period. The Aurora record is just only one. So I can guess also this uh, Aurora record is uh, the comet one. The final example, uh, 1825, uh, this case, an arc star appeared. So this expression is said star very clear not our uh like fully drawing red bow red bow is yeah surely uh bow means probably comma red yeah red is not so clear red red black hmm. on the other hand the same period almost the same period the comet can uh, a comet appear and two turn long uh, as the same meaning. The comma long length is a uh, little bit tail. Okay. White paper, this case is press white paper. Uh very long here's the uh, star, uh, pieces of uh, the star. So also this record can uh, identify uh, the comet. Record. Okay, uh, not only these three records, but also binary. I mentioned that uh, special case. So this Aurora record is 1908, uh, last century. Okay. Uh, in the first time, uh, Gali is the uh, the expression of the type in China. So uh, this uh, expression is. Uh, the night time divided by five. So one gun means uh, two hours. The first gun is from the seven o'clock to the nine o'clock in the early evening. So uh, in this time, a rainbow appeared. A rainbow appeared in the night. Okay, from the east to the west in the sky, and disappeared a few hours after a few hours. Okay, so in this case, in the early night, rainbow appear, and this day is just a, uh, one day before of the full moon. The sky is very bright. Okay, but uh, in the night, the sky is rather bright. Rainbow can be seen. So, uh, if they are all appear, much more different condition we can get. And uh, uh, two most even happened 98 uh, June 30. So just after the 12 days of the Tumuska event. So after the Tumuska event, uh, some small dust particle uh, spread it into the atmosphere. So after the event, a few weeks in European countries very had the very bright sky. So in even in the midnight, people can uh, take a picture without any flash in the midnight. So lighting, so, uh, so the night is very bright. Okay. And uh, as I said before, the aurora usually appears midnight. But this case is early night. Yeah, just after the sunset also. On the other hand, also, uh, uh, for thinking of these conditions, we can say this is uh, this record is not our world, but some related phenomena to the Tumus event. Probably uh, the uh, night, uh, sorry, uh, the sky is rather bright. But the skip out small particles. Okay. 
Well, uh, I mentioned at the location that record. Okay, Tumusta event is, oh, sorry. Tumusta event is this point, probably a little bit more upper position. So out of, uh, out of this map. But on the other hand, this record is just here. So the altitude is 30 degrees. But uh, the location is from the hotspot, uh, southern southeast position. But the European countries, much more west, far west, a few thousand uh, kilometers. The distance from here to here, about uh, more than 2,000, 2,000 and uh, some kilometers very close to the European countries, uh, than, uh, European countries. So this uh, means uh, not so direct record, but a very uh, related phenomenon, uh, this record is spread, I guess. Okay, uh, summary. Some ancient Chinese oral records seem to be comet record and another meteorological phenomenon one. A couple of them are pointed out that the possibility of uh, comet ones. The Aroma record in 1908 seems to be indicated to be the meteorological phenomenon affected by the Tungus event. So, a uh, further study of the ancient Aroma records with the comet and meteorological ones should be done. Thank you very much. <laughs>